The Kremlin is trying to involve migrants from Central Asia in the war. The Russian Federation is trying to involve migrants from Central Asian countries in the war against Ukraine in order to replenish its army as well as to reduce the level of tension in Russian society. According to the Center for National Resistance of Ukraine, the Russian invaders chose two paths for this. In the first case, migrants who have obtained Russian passports are given subpoenas and threatened with having their citizenship revoked if they refuse to fight. In the second, the promise to grant Russian citizenship to those who do not yet have it, subject to joining the Russian army. If they refuse, they are threatened with deportation. It is noted that one of the reasons for this decision was the dissatisfaction of the families of the dead Russian occupiers with delays in cash payments. The mobilization of migrants is designed to reassure ethnic Russians about new waves of mobilization. Thus, the Kremlin continues the strategy of using residents of poor regions and less wealthy people as cannon fodder, the resistance center added. At the beginning of a full-scale war, Russian President Putin promised the Russians that only professional soldiers would allegedly be sent to Ukraine, but conscripts were captured by the armed forces of Ukraine. Despite the Kremlin's promises that there would be no mobilization in the Russian Federation, in the autumn, Putin announced a partial mobilization. After the official announcement of its completion, covert mobilization continued. In April 2023, the State Duma decided to create a register of persons liable for military service in the country. From now on, Russians will receive not only paper, but also electronic summons. Recently, booklets with a call to join the ranks of the Russian armed forces in Tajik and Uzbek were shown on the social networks.